Hiya, Pendle here from Soundus with hopefully a quick non-rambling talk through of the new updated uh, 2.1 evolved modular chaos engine. Now this, as you may or may not know, is constructed from Dave Smith's Evolver, which is an amazing analog uh, digital hybrid synth, which is capable of some quite um, brilliant noises, basically. And what I've done is created over 1500 uh, noises, sound samples, and piled them into the modular chaos engine. Except there's two of them now. And um, yeah, so we can make amazing stuff that sounds Evolver like, but does stuff that even Evolver can't do. So without further ado, let's uh, quickly, I want to show you the new stuff and how to use it. This is an empty um, version comes with some full ones and some empty ones as part of the presets but this is the empty one which i always recommend you start with because you never know where you can end up essentially you've got two engines the boom and the blap engine and there the, uh, the boom engine is mainly percussive style sound spread over these 12 keys here okay i won't do them all and then the blap engine is mainly melodic sound spread over another 12 keys and each key each key on, the, on your keyboard down here represents one sequencing engine. So you've got 12 sequencing engines per boom engine and 12 per blap engine. And then within them, you've got 12 uh, key possibilities that you can run all at the same time. Does that make sense? So let's just quickly show you how to do it. Oh, let's go start on the blap engine. Now, this is mainly melodic. And what I've done for every... So if you select... Here, but you click on a sequencing engine so that's the C engine now if I choose a note here for instance if I that one is a C this is vaguely well it is uh, laid out like it's a uh, piano keyboard so you've got white and black notes that's a C now everything I draw in here is here is going to be a C it's not playing yet because I haven't pressed that there note when I do You'll see what I mean. Now, this will probably make a terrible racket. In fact, just make sure it doesn't. I'm going to do that. I'm drawing in a um, decay, a lesser decay. So it's not going to randomly keep going on. So that is going to be a load of sounds, and they're all in C. There you go. And there's basically five, or I can't remember if it's six, separate sounds, each with three octaves of that sound. So you can, uh, for instance... It's called Space Invader. So you select the sound by where you, by where you draw. It's quite swingy. Let's turn the swing down. You select the sound by where you draw on here. And it's slightly hit and miss, which is the point. Let's make it one box. So at the moment, I'm drawing in the decay time. Can you hear that terrible noise? That's the builders next door. You've also got control of lots of other new things. So you've got filter cut off. And you can just draw these things in. When it's blank, nothing is happening. You've got sample start time, which has differing effects on differing, sa differing cells. It's quite subtle, but if you're after subtle, it's useful. Fade. Bits. Now this is quite gnarly potentially. So it's a it's a bit reduction unit. If you go all the way, it turns into hiss and noise, which is handy for building. Yeah, you got compression, which is actually a context transient master device, which is really quite good. And it's, you're controlling more than one. Sometimes less obvious on this sound than it is on some others. You're controlling both your by turning that up, you're increasing attack and taking down sustain on the transient master. Uh, in the bit thing, you're reducing bit level, you're doing something else and then doing something else as well. Very scientific. Um, oh yes, volume. So at the moment when empty, this defaults to the same volume all the way across and when you draw something in it will go to something less. And uh, 
verb here is a reverb send. And that relates to this here, the black verb. Okay, so that's the basics, and that's just one note, and I've just randomly drawn some stuff in. You can also, so that's running on C, if you also then want to run a uh, D sharp at the same time, what might that sound like? I'm turning down the hold here as well. different sound. You might want to change that to an entirely different note. So there you go, very quickly we built up something which may or may not be usable to you. We can take out some of these or if you do this. I want to add in another note. You've also got Sound Chaos, which starts messing with what sound is actually being played. So you can draw one thing in and end up with something entirely different. And we basically drag and click. Click and drag even. And Timing Chaos does a similar thing with the timing. If you want really wonky beats. Tape control here. And swing. So you've got positive and negative grooviness. So that's once that's just one of the 12. So if I then hit the C sharp key, I'm not playing anything. So, but if I wanted to draw something in there very quickly. But I can then play. I'm not deliberately making this bad, but it is turning out that way, isn't it? Um, so there's a principle. So we'll stick with our C for now. You can also solo. Let's tidy that up a bit. Let's take some of these out. Let's just go with that for now. So that's only one of the 12 available things. And then we've got the boom engine, which is the same, but drum based. So I'm now playing C there, which is triggering that. Now this same thing again is vague. It's vaguely set up in a vaguely GM style. So you've got kicks and snare kicks on the C and uh, D. C sharp's got kind of snary things as a, this one, and then hi hats on your your sharp notes there. It's not science; it's not you know exact, but that's the vague way it's going. So if you quickly wanted to draw in a four to the floor, for instance, you could do this. It's not that quick, is it? Oh, let's make that one bar. If you want to slightly adjust the sound, I mean, there's up to a hundred sounds squished in here, so the tuning is quite fine if you hold your shift button you can actually fine tune much easier but just for show now if I hold the uh, black engine C as well you have something very quick and very unpleasant that's so I'm going to put a snary thing in. I'm going to put some hi-hats in. Gonna... 
You've also, in this engine, you've got slightly different controls. You've got a tune. And yes, you've got pan as well. You've also got over here, got a nifty little thing. We've got tube distortion or transistor distortion. Yep. So that's, you know, very quickly we could play the other one together. Let's just go and make that even. It's you, you're the horrible one. So you can see what note is playing. There you go. And you can also... So that's just me playing some of the sequence engines. Other useful things is the remixer. You've got 32 kind of remix variations which apply individually to the blap and the boom engines. So from slight variation. Okay, we'll go back to normal again. Another way of quickly sound chaos again. So that'll do. There you go. Um, you've also the whole the big thing I've not shown. You've also got several octaves of one shots as well, which each have. So you hear the note here. It responds. It's the C there. You've got a um, device for even setting per note articulations. You've got the groovy chaos button, which madly randomizes. And the order button, which madly unrandomizes. Um, high pass filter, low pass filter, oops. You'll notice that these are clickable and when that is clicked, everything goes and when it isn't clicked only that one goes so it's just a quick way of resetting and that also applies to the randomator so if it's not selected it don't get randomized see um attack decay volume pan and yes the special dynamics uh, articulation excuse me craziness so you've got a whole another load of octaves of one shot kits up there as well <clears throat> excuse me then you've got the final uh, master effects page which gives you um, volume control of each engine so you can match them up you've got uh, the reverb send there's different reverb sends for both engines master EQ and very handy master transient device for extra chunkiness and finally the rtfm page which i think you know what it stands for but you go there and it shows you stuff that i've probably forgotten to show you okay there you go i think that's relatively quick and relatively painless thank you very much uh available from the sander shop also there are three chaos engines now if you want to if you don't have any and you want to make a bundle, then there's a little um, info address so you can ask nicely. And it does seem to work out that the nicer you ask, the bigger bundle discount I'm prepared to give. Just saying. Anyway, thanks very much. Bye bye. <laughs>